This is the Duramax Auto System. Three types of cells can be used. Small, medium, and large. The cells are made up of glass and are transparent. For light-sensitive products, amber cells can be used. There are two types of stirrers that can be used for each cell, short or tall stirrer. Depending on the type of stirrer, the cell volume changes. The cell along with the stirrer makes the receptor compartment. The donor compartment comprises of the cell cap. The cell cap holds the dosage form for each cell. There are two cell caps to choose from, which can hold different quantities of the dosage form. In between the donor and the receptor compartment sits the membrane holder, which retains the membrane. The membrane can be either natural or artificial, depending on IVPT or IVRT studies. For each cell, there are two membrane holders to choose from with varying orifice diameters. Different orifice diameters change the exposed membrane area. The exposed membrane area has an impact on drug diffusion. The cell cap fits onto the membrane holder. Place stir into the cell. And in turn, this assembly fits onto a cell in a snap fit manner. The small and the medium cell is placed in a heat sleeve first, before placing in the cell block. The evaporation cap is placed on the top of the cell. It minimizes evaporation and is used when a closed setup is required. Cell preparation. Equilibrate the membrane in the medium. Dab the excess medium on a paper towel and place it on the membrane holder. Place the cell cap on the membrane holder. Weigh the assembly. Discard a small quantity of formulation first. Fill the cell cap cavity with excess dosage form. Tap the cell cap to remove bubbles. Wipe off the excess and reweigh. The difference gives the actual fill weight. Load medium into the cell up to the fill level. Place the cells on the dry block and start the test. Once the temperature reaches testing temperature, place the prepared cell cap kit on the cell. Remove the cell from the block and tilt to take out the entrapped bubble. Start the test. Automatic sampling occurs from all seven cells, and the aliquoted volume is dispensed directly into HPLC vials. The samples can then be directly loaded into the HPLC for analysis.